quick intro, quick plug for my ebook, Do Not As Lean Body Bible. It's a cycling buyer's guide. So if you want to know aero, disc, endurance, race, whatever, what's the best cranks, what's the best frame set, what's the best touring bike, what's the best training bike, all the best diet tips, hundreds of cycling tips. If you want to fast track your cycling progress, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on bike stuff. I know what's legit. I know what's shit. If you want to bypass all that hard work, get the fast track information, go to durinrider.com, get a copy of my Durin Riders Lean Body Bible Cycling eBook. Bet buyers, buyers guides constantly updated. All right, get a copy. Seriously, it's the best book out there on cycling, period. Tips and buyer's guide included. Aero bikes, just, hey, what does this t-shirt say? What does this t-shirt say? Got fat, cut the fuck up, go vegan. All right, so, uh, aero bikes, GCN did a video, I'm a fan of GCN, fan of GCN, some presenters I've spoken to in person, the lads, the girls, uh, GCN did a thing of something about aero bikes versus lot of bikes, now I haven't seen the video, but I feel that they're claiming the stuff that Cannondale recently put out about their System 6 new aero disc bike, that the pros are not even using it. None of the EF riders are using that on any climbs. Recently in the Tour of Columbia, they're using their Super 6. Even in Paris Bay or Flanders, Sepp Van Mark using uh, a Super 6. Last year used a Synapse. But how do we know when the riders have a choice and when they're said, hey, look, this is part of the contract bonus. Please ride our new disc bike in this race. We need some social media coverage there we need consumer belief consumer confidence and the, the riders will get a bonus you know, how many pro riders out there are really riding disc brake bikes because they have a choice Sagan does not have a choice he is told boom you ride a disc brake bike that's part of our contract if you don't like it too bad they don't have a choice Sagan does not have a choice when if you ride a disc or rim specialized riders don't have a choice trek riders don't have a choice I feel this is very bad if you're a GC rider, Peter Sagan doesn't need better brakes. <laughs> Peter Sagan is Peter Sagan because he has those skills to pay the bills. He doesn't Peter Sagan need better brakes? <laughs> you can have the best brakes in the world. Pete's still going to drop you on fucking Tektro rim calipers. Fact. Put Peter Sagan on a $1,000 bike or a $500 road bike with shitty Tektro brakes and shitty loose carbon rims. And Pete will still bomb downhill faster than us. He will. He will. Just because he's got skills. Uh, with this brakes, will he be able to go even faster? No, because he's just going so fast anyway, because he's not using brakes. Or hardly, hardly using brakes. So for the amateur rider, disc brakes, yeah, they can be good. For wet, for commuting, for if you're a bike messenger, disc brakes for sure. But for the road racers, they're not using disc brakes because it's better. They're using them because they're paid to. And they're, they're told to. Contractual obligation. So these people out there, and then they're the aero bikes, you know, this whole aero bikes, aero bike, a heavy aero bike climbs faster than a lightweight climbing bike, which is total bunk, because why doesn't Chris Froome get Pinarello to build him up some special aero bike? <laughs> why did Michael Matthews, the sprinter, use a TCR as his sprinting bike instead of the Propel aero bike? Why? Because the TCR just feels faster, it's just faster, it's lighter, it's more nimble. These aero bikes are so heavy and sluggish. Put disc brake wheels on them, they're like... And they're also quite rigid, a lot of them. Except for maybe the Madonna with the ISO speed. But you ride a disc aero bike. They are ride like slugs. I've ridden the new Venge S-Works. I've ridden the Madone. I've ridden all the all the Blinks. I've got friends who own these bikes. Sometimes demo days, whatever. These disc aero bikes ride like slugs. Compare it to a lightweight rim racing fucking climbing bike like a TCR or an Amanda or you know they, they ride so much more nimble All right. now you might need disc brakes because you live in the wet climate and I agree disc brakes dominate there if I lived in London and a road year round I'd ride a disc brake bike for sure it's just better safer braking in the wet definitely it's stopping for traffic lights cars cutting you off grabbing the brakes pros don't need to grab their brakes if you grab your brakes you got 100 guys behind you or 20 guys behind you and you're going to cause a pile up uh, so this is how it is so the better brakes you need in traffic I agree disc brake bikes but we're getting marketed we're getting sold that aero disc brake bikes are the go and that's absolute fucking bullshit for performance if, you're, if we're talking uphill time trial if we're talking sprinting if we're talking high performance where brakes don't really in, uh, need it then rim brake for the win 
if we make someone said the other day, well, Peter Sagan, he's an experienced rider. If, if disc brakes weren't better, he wouldn't use them. That's how fucking noobs some of these people are. You know, let's, let's get the exact quote up. Let's get the exact quote up. It's just you know, just some of these people out there, some of these noobs. It is it is quite hilarious how people are so gullible that they believe every bit of marketing that's spewed to them. I mean, I'm a fan of Cannondale and Specialized and Trek bikes. I own them all. You know, I've got 20, 25 bikes. So if you more bikes coming this week, I'm a bike nut. I can't find that exact quote, but uh, you know, it just it's just hilarious how people just get sucked into the marketing, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's crazy. Just you know, aero bike is better up hills than a climbing bike. It's hilarious, hilarious. I can't find this quote. I got so many screenshots on this screen, but uh, the new marketing of the spe- the Cannondale, it's just like. The, the pro riders are just laughing at it. It's like the Garmin vector pedals. When Garmin put out their vector pedals, the pros are like, this is shit. Give me my SRM. Give me my whatever. Give me my stages even. How many pros use the Garmin vectors? It's like, this, 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 the inaccurate. It's like, in and out. Ch- Pedal-based power meters are shit. Because you got to, when you, it's just, you're based on a crank torque. And they get knocked. They get hit. They get out of balance. I would never buy a pedal-based power meter. Better than nothing, but, I'd just say get a stages, get a stages, lighter, stronger, better. Good enough for Chris Froome, good enough for us. And Chris Froome is using a climbing bike. All these people using climbing bikes, the people who are getting serious about their weight, climbing bike, all right? Climbing bike, if you're talking uphill performance, you're talking Tour de France level performance, disc brakes are a disadvantage. Slow wheel changes, extra weight, pads rubbing. (coughs) All these keyboard warriors making me cough. Oh, but just get your disc brakes set up properly. Ask any pro rider who's honest. So, do you disrupt now and then? Right. They do. They do. On the most expensive bike with the world's best mechanics, your road disc brakes are still going to rub because they just get hot. The oil expands. Or the, it just Road disc brakes are way more temperamental than mountain bike disc brakes. I don't know why. None of the mechanics I've talked to know why. No one from SRAM or Shimano knows why. They sort of, you know... Sort of, no, oh, that's fine, mate. You know, even the latest SRAM Axis disc brakes rubbing. Tick, 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 tick. So, I've ridden with a lot of pro riders of disc brakes, and I hear this ting, 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 and the riders are fucking looking down. They're getting pissed off. They're trying to hide that disappointment, but you know, it's just how it is. Road disc brakes very temperamental. They're fantastic for wet weather. If you're commuting, I rode disc brake bikes the other day at the shops, and oh, these are great. Still rubbing, still ding, 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 but it doesn't matter because I'm just I want safe braking in the wet, which pros don't need. They don't use their brakes hardly at all. So I make some pros. There's a difference between a pro and you and me is we'll all go down top the out the on the downhill, and they'll use their brakes less than me and less than you, and that's why they're pro. Simple as that. So the aero bikes, the disc brake bikes, just a big, big marketing fad. If you want to get one though, you get one. If you like the look of it, then yeah, you get it. Whatever bike you like to look of and stuff, get it. But don't be fooled into thinking you're going to climb faster on the aero bike or bike with disc brake bikes. You, you won't. You won't at all. You'll have better, safer braking in traffic, for sure, in the wet, definitely. Uh, it'll look cool in the photos on Instagram, but that's about it. 